How to treat a caterpillar sting. While caterpillars are cute and fun to watch, they also have the potential to sting you badly. Caterpillar stings can cause minor symptoms or they can initiate a potentially dangerous allergic reaction. To treat caterpillar stings, you need to clean the site of the sting, treat the symptoms of the sting, and consult a medical professional if symptoms become severe. In the end, you will recover more easily from your caterpillar sting. In this video, we'll guide you through effective techniques on how to treat a caterpillar sting and alleviate discomfort. Watch now to learn essential first aid tips and ensure a speedy recovery from these unexpected encounters. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to cleaning the sting site, treating symptoms, and getting medical help. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Things you'll need. Tape or a commercial face peel. Baking soda, bicarbonate of soda and water paste. Ice pack or frozen food. Clean water and soap. Pain relief. Cold compress. Hydrocortisone cream. Antihistamine cream. Method 1. How to cleaning the sting site. Number 1. Remove the caterpillar without touching it. If the caterpillar is still on your skin, use pliers, tweezers, or thick gloves to pick up the caterpillar and remove it. Never try to remove the caterpillar with your bare hands because it can sting you again. Caterpillar stings come from their tiny spines that look like hairs. That is why that it is so important to avoid touching them with your fingers. Number 2. Use tape to remove spines from the skin. Get scotch tape, duct tape, or something similar. Place it over the site of the sting, then quickly remove it. The tape will catch any poison hairs or spines that remain in your skin. This is important to minimize sting symptoms and prevent additional stings. You can also use the adhesive part of a bandage to remove hairs or spines. Number 3. Wash the area. Use soap and warm water to wash the area thoroughly. In addition, wash the surrounding area as well. Finally, make sure to wash both of your hands thoroughly, just in case you came into contact with poison or stingers. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Treating Symptoms. Number 1. Apply a baking soda and water paste. Mix 1 tablespoon of baking soda with 1 to 2 tablespoons of warm water. Liberally apply the paste to the area of the sting and allow it to sit for a couple of minutes. The baking soda paste should reduce itching and other discomfort. Reapply the paste every couple of hours. Number 2. Use a hydrocortisone cream. If the baking soda fails to alleviate your symptoms, rinse the baking soda paste off and then apply a liberal amount of hydrocortisone cream. Allow the cream to sit. It may take up to an hour for it to soothe the sting site. Reapply the cream according to the instructions on the product. Number 3. Try an antihistamine cream. If hydrocortisone cream also fails, wash thoroughly and then apply a liberal amount of antihistamine cream. Wait for up to half an hour to see if you notice a difference. In many cases, antihistamine creams have proven ineffective in soothing the symptoms of a caterpillar sting, however you may find that the cream works for you. Number 4. Apply a cold compress. After you have applied the baking soda paste or a cream, you can put a cold compress on the site of the sting. Place a bag of ice or frozen vegetables on the site of the sting for 10 to 20 minutes at a time. 
Reapply the cold compress every hour or two. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Getting medical help. Number 1. Watch for the development of serious symptoms. Caterpillar stings can result in a variety of symptoms. Depending on the type of caterpillar and any allergies you may have, symptoms can be very mild or very severe. Common symptoms include itchiness and contact dermatitis, blisters, wheels, welts, small red bumps, pain, acute conjunctivitis if hairs penetrate the eyes, rash and hives, difficulty breathing, nausea and vomiting, bleeding and renal failure can occur after contact with the South American Lenomia caterpillar. Number 2. Contact your doctor if you experience worsening symptoms. If you develop blisters, large welts, or a rash that spreads, contact your doctor immediately. This is important, as some people can develop potentially deadly allergic reactions to caterpillar stings. Number 3. Call Poison Control for more information. Poison Control can be reached at 1 800 222 1222 any time of the day or night. If you have any questions about how to treat a caterpillar sting, a poison specialist will answer the phone and provide you with recommendations about how to treat the sting site. Number 4. Get a tetanus booster shot. If you have not had a tetanus booster in the last 5 to 10 years, you should get one within 72 hours of being stung by a caterpillar. This is because the stinger wound site may become open to bacteria and infection. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Tips 1. Do not touch or handle brightly colored or hairy caterpillars. 2. Do not scratch your sting. 3. Note the geographic area in which you receive the sting and ensure to keep pets and children away from the area. Alert officials if there appears to be an unusual level of breeding. 4. Unless you are a trained professional, do not keep wild insects as pets. If you want to raise caterpillars into butterflies or moths, there are special websites and catalogues from which you can order eggs and equipment. 5. Never play with unknown animals or insects. They could be dangerous. Warnings 1. Never let pets or children play with unknown creatures, even something as small as a caterpillar. Teach children to avoid brightly coloured and spiny caterpillars especially showy colours and crests of hairs are often nature's code for poison. 2. Even caterpillars that do not sting can be harmful to your yard. Watch for white, cobwebby nests of caterpillars in trees. Evergreen bagworms and spongy moth caterpillars are parasitic and can kill trees. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.